All right, students, welcome to your car speed and velocity lab. Typically, we would do this outside in front of our school, and we've got a predetermined measured spot that's about 100 meters, and we time the cars to go from one spot to the other spot on US 72 right in front of our school building. And from there, we, can we are able to determine that car's speed or that car's velocity. Well, we are not in school, so instead I pulled out my handy-dandy drone. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to assume that one side of the screen and the other edge of the screen, the distance there, is going to be 100 meters. Is it exactly 100 meters? I don't know, but we're going to assume that it is. I'll, I'll tell you exactly which car it is that you should be following, and we're also going to have a stopwatch on the screen. And by doing so, uh, that way we can actually measure the speed of the car. So let's get to it. Okay, look for the car in the lower left-hand corner, circled in red. Let's time it. Our stopwatch is up here, and we're timing it to go to the right-hand side. Our time is 3.5 seconds. So make sure you record that for car number one. It is 3.5 seconds. Okay, so our next car is coming up right now. It's in the lower left again. It's a white car. We're timing it to go across the screen. And this car travels in 3.3 seconds. Make sure you're recording that for car number two, 3.3 seconds. Now in the upper right-hand corner, we've got a red car. It's going from, it's, it's a semi. It's going across the screen to our left. And the time that that takes is 7.4 seconds. Now if you need to, you can stop the video to record some of these times. Now we're on to our very last car. It's in the lower left, traveling to the right again. And it is moving to the right, a little bit slower. And we're at 5.1 seconds. Make sure you record that. Those should all be in the speed section, okay? Now we're moving down to velocity. In the velocity section, we need the direction. Notice I, in the lower right, I put a compass rose. The top of the screen is north. The bottom of our screen is south. The very first thing we're looking at is going to be traveling south. So it's the semi-truck at the top. I circled it in red right there. And we're imagining it's traveling 100 meters, right? So the semi-truck is traveling 100 meters to the south. So when you record this, make sure you have south in there because that is important for the direction. And the time is 13 point, let's round it to 6, 13.6 seconds, all right? That one was traveling south. Now, if we look at this next one, it's circled down at the bottom. It's traveling north. So when we fill in the displacement, make sure we say that it's traveling north. This one took 3.3 seconds traveling north, okay? Now we've got another one. I believe this one's going to be going south. So it's right at the bridge. Let's start our stopwatch. It's traveling south again. It's that red car, and that is 6.34 seconds. You can just go to 6.3 seconds. And our last one, we're going to be measuring the velocity that the drone descends. Okay, so it's descending 122 meters. Its maximum altitude is 400 feet. So it's 122 meters that it is descending, and it is descending down. That's the direction that it's going is down. So remember, displacement has a... a direction attached to it and our time is 20.4 seconds okay so 20.4 seconds make sure that you are recording all this information if you need to rewind the video you can please go ahead and do that and after you record all that stuff you're going to have to do the division in order to figure out either the speed or the velocity have a great day